And now for the coalition's response to MK Edith Silman's defection. Knesset member from the Yeshatid party, Moshe Tulpaz. Knesset member, it's great to have you with us. Now, you defended Silman actually when she was previously under harsh attacks from the right wing and the opposition parties. What are your initial thoughts and reactions to this news? Yes, I'm, look, I'm very sorry for Edith Silman's decision. I think she did a bad decision both for herself and for the country. I mean, Israel, we're after four elections in three years. We didn't have a budget for a long time. The fact that they did decided to leave the coalition means we're going to a long time of the um, instability in the country. Uh, I'm not sure we'll be able, I hope we will, but I'm not sure we'll be able to pass the next budget. And I do think we're heading either to a new coalition or to elections. We'll do our best to rebuild the coalition and strengthen it with new NKs, which are not part of it. But if not, we may be heading to elections. I think that's the last thing Israel needs today. And you know, we have our government working very well. We have both Jews and Arabs working together. A lot of things that were stuck for decades are now moving on. And all that is, I think, at least stopped or or maybe stopped by the Edith Silman's uh, decision. So I think it's a bad decision for Israel. All right. Well, you know, Silman argued about the Jewish character of the country, including chametz leavened bread and hospitals during Passover. But not only, she also uh, talked about the shared prayer spaces at the Western Wall, uh, and we, as, as we heard earlier, uh, about issues with uh, with Defense Minister Gantz. Between all the different ideologies in the coalition, there have been a lot of disagreements. Do you, do you think that it was doomed to fail in any sense? No, I don't think so. Look, Edith Silma, like myself, is a religious modern Orthodox person. She lives a modern life. Um, she, she, she went to university. She wants her religious life to be as modern as she can. And yet she's a religious person. And I think there's a big place for that kind of way of life today in Israel. Like, again, like myself. So I don't really believe this was the reason Edith um, took down, you know, went out of the coalition. I don't. I do believe that the the area of hospitals can be, there can be an agreement about chametz in hospitals. You know, um, the, the, it's it's not a political decision anyway at the moment. So I do believe Edith collapsed under the pressure of the right wing, uh, under the pressure of the opposition. I do think if you go into politics, you have to be firm, you have to believe in things. And, and even if people press you and your family, and you should stand for it, stand for your values. I do know what Edith believes in. I don't think she changed her manner. I don't think she changed her ideology. So I, I, I'm sorry. I, I, and I won't think it will pay her politically. I mean, uh, the graveyards are full of uh, uh, promises Netanyahu made and didn't uh, uh, de deliver. I mean, she could ask Gadi Yabakan, sure. or she could ask uh, Orly Levy, or many of others, Benny Gantz, and she knows that very well. So I really believe he did, did a bad decision for Israel. Well, well so again, I'll, I'll ask you what I asked, uh, I'll ask you the same thing that I asked Ariel Kahana earlier. Do you think that she might take this decision back anytime soon? I think that could happen. I think mm. she could get to herself and understand she didn't do so, the, the right decision. I, I think that could happen, but in the same manner, I would say we could be heading elections. It's that maybe the most, um, um, you know, uh, reasonable thing that will happen at the moment. And again, this is again another time of um, non-stable government in Israel. When you know politics are one thing, but the real life, we need security. We need economics. There's a war in Europe. There's so much to do. This government is doing so many good things that I really believe well, this is bad. Well, so so for more, more on that, Knesset member. You know, technically the coalition can continue, but only with likely help from outside parties like the joint list. Do you see this as a viable option? Yes, I do think so. I mean, we are working on all kinds of political options. And look, there are a lot of people that are part of opposition but don't really believe in Benjamin Netanyahu. I mean, it's outfailed so many people. So many people is, is, have had his promises. I, I don't see Netanyahu coming back to government. I don't see him prime minister again. Too much has happened uh -huh. till uh, um, over the 12 years of his prime minister and 
the three before. How and long? I do believe that as long as he's leading opposition, he won't, the Yamin won't have the government. Okay, again, though, you're saying that it's viable that you work with the opposition for an extended period of time, but how long can that actually last without a, a clear majority, without Silman, without Shikli, uh, and, and other uh, Knesset members who may defect? I agree, so and that's the reason we will have to have some MKs from opposition joining us or go to elections. Those are the two options because I really don't see another government headed by Netanyahu as long as he's there. So as long as Netanyahu's head of Likud, I think that's our um, strongest security that there won't be another government. And that's why I think we're either going to see this coalition going on with new members or we're going to elections. All right, uh, MK Moshe Turpaz, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much. ILTV Plus, your news from Israel and more 24-7. Start your free trial today. Subscribe at ILTV.TV and watch from any device.